Hello, my name's Jason and welcome to another episode of me painting again. Oh yeah, we're painting again, except today, dum dum dum, we're doing uh, <laughs> Clive's picture. We're finishing off Clive's portrait and uh, if you've not seen uh, him paint this, then you should watch that first so then you can see me finish it. Uh, I've done the same to him, I sent him one for him to finish as well. Uh, it's a bit of fun, and uh, using acrylic paints. Dum dum dum. <laughs> oh, acrylics. Oh. So I don't know what colours I'm going to be using. Um, I'm looking at the picture and looking at these colours that are left. I'm not sure about these eyes. <laughs> So he's covered it with paper and drawn a random picture on there. And uh, look at his canvas. Oh, he's done a bit of squaring up here. Clive's done a bit of squaring. He must have been working hard on this one. Uh, so I need to finish it and I printed out uh, a picture of someone's bottom part of their mouth. <laughs> Got it over there. I can't show you it for fear of being sued of copyright infringement. So... <laughs> So I'm just using it as a guide, just to remind myself what a jaw looks like. <laughs> it's funny the things that you kind of forget when you're painting, like what something looks like. So let's have a look at what we've got here. Um, it's kind of strange looking. <laughs> I can see these eyes. It's putting me off. Oh well, we we'll just do this. Let's let's do this. Let's see what we can do. Um, um, what Sienna? Do you think? Oh my god, these uh, lids. Oh, I've not used these acrylics in a while, so the lids are a bit on the tight side. Let's have a look. Um, Yeah, raw sienna. We could probably do a burnt umber, maybe, maybe, maybe. Don't know. Let's have a look. Oh, wow, that's close. So, good guess on the raw sienna. Uh, I think I can just throw in some black into the raw sienna for the shadows. I've got some Naples yellow for my highlights. Might work. I'm starting to like Naples yellow now. I've always liked Naples yellow but I've never really used it much. But while I've been painting the uh, master painting and the Arubans copy, uh, I seem to be getting into that more. I wonder what that looks like together. Yeah. Oh, by Jove, I think we've got it. I think just a little bit of white and uh, we should get this. Now, what we should do first is do a quick drawing. Let's do a quick sketch with the uh, Royal Sienna of what we're gonna do. So we're gonna have his mouth here, actually. Yeah, my love is. Eh, let's just do it. Let's just paint it. We can eat. we're using acrylics. So we can fix it as we go. It doesn't matter, does it? It's the uh, the joy of acrylics, I think. <laughs> That's the benefit. You just keep fixing it. So here we go. Let's, let's let's do this. So I'm using my jaw picture. So I'm going to bring his jaw. So if his mouth is there, the jaw is there. So go around like that. Around like that. Yeah. And then uh, the mouth there, so Put that down around there as well. <laughs> Something like this. I think. Let's 
get a bit of white in this. I need to start using some paint. I forget um, when I'm using. I'm a little bit too bright, aren't I? Let's get some of that. Mm. I've not quite got the same colour. I'm not too bothered really. Let's just fill this in. I'm gonna just fill this in. So uh, different <laughs> using acrylics. <laughs> Everything's so weird. Oh uh, dear. Um, to blend that. Blend that together as well there. Okay. So yeah, we've got that anyway. But we need to be dark around here. That to be darker. And we'll have his neck. There. And then we'll put his uh, shirt on here. Something like that, anyway, gives us an idea. I think what I need to do is use a bit of structure gel to thicken this paint up because <laughs> uh, I'm going to struggle otherwise. I need to use a bit thicker paint, so I'm going to get some structure gel. Okay, <laughs> I finally opened it. It took me ages. Right, here we go. Interesting, interesting. Got some thickening gel. I just grabbed myself some burnt umber as well, because I want it for the shadows. So, let's get back to this again. I want to get some of this colour down. I want a hint of red for the lips as well. And uh, the moustache, I'm going to use the burnt umber. <laughs> I don't know what uh, Clive has done for the hair. So uh, we will have to see about that one. <laughs> Use another brush just to get some of this weird stuff out. Thicken in gel. Interesting. Okay. So let's get some of this into this thickening gel. Not really sure how much you're supposed to use compared to your paint, but I'm just gonna whack it in there. See what happens. Oh, it works quite well actually. This works quite well. So this is Clive's thickening gel. And it does Thickened the paint quite nicely. I know he did a mountain using this, and I was surprised he managed it. <laughs> it's not easy doing mountains using acrylics the way um, using the knife, yeah. the way Bob Ross did it. Might put a little bit of the burnt umber in there as well, and now I'll get some white. Let's see what we get. It's 
thickening up nicely. Hmm, interesting. Let's stick some of this paint on. <laughs> Oh, that's more like it. Yeah, I like this, Clive. I like the picketing gel. It helps me a lot better. He knew I'd have trouble. <laughs> I think that's why he sent me it. Because <laughs> when you're used to using uh, what I'm used to, oils. It's hard work using other materials. I still enjoy it though, I still get excited about using something different. I'm a bit of a kid though. <laughs> I like to uh, play with it, different materials. Okay, I'm using my reference just to have a look at where the shadow is under the uh, chin, chinny chin chin. Yeah, I thought I'd finish this off with acrylic. I'm, I'm kind of thinking now, maybe I should have just got the oils going. But I thought yeah, he used acrylic, so I probably should as well. More of this colour. The thing I find about uh, the Galleria, or what I like to call Galeria, it's not as, it's not thick enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's not what I'm used to. I like the paint to be a bit thicker. Oh, yes. So you need, I suppose that's why, you know, they sell all these different things to go with acrylic, all these different mediums, because you need them. Right, let's get this going. Need to uh, use a bit of white to opaque all this, because I can still see those lines. I don't want to see those lines underneath. gonna fill this in I think. Get rid of those lines annoying annoying me. Okay, let's use the soft brush. It's quite soft. Just soften this. It's gonna soften that. He hasn't got a mouth yet. Don't worry, he will do, he will do. We'll get there, honest. Okay, that's better. That's better. I can work with this better now. Oh, it's better. Right, let's get some of this dark. What I might do is I might warm this up a bit. Maybe that for now. 
So I've got a uh, bit of a dimple in the chin there. And I want this shadow here. I'm going to be quite rough. Rough. Mm. Uh, rough, rough, rough painting. This guy is almost like sculpted in now because I've got so much of this medium on. That's all right. I don't mind that. There. I don't want that one. Let's put that one away. Let's move this one out. <laughs> Smoothing it out now. Okay. Sitting back, having a look. Decided I'm painting a bit too close, really. Need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, we'll have the chin here. Okay, I like that. So, I want a beard a bit there. And I've got a moustache. A <laughs> moustache. Just some uh, the old uh, bit of number. Yeah, quite like that actually. That's coming on. I might give him a little bit of a go to as well actually. Let's start having a bit more uh, more of a laugh of this. <laughs> and some people their hair sort of go up like that, don't they? He <laughs> looks like Clive when he didn't have a shave. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I quite like that. What I might do, <clears throat> why that's drying actually, we can uh, put in some of the skin tone in the neck area. So we've got the neck. I'm going to add a little more to this in a bit. Uh, just a bit dark around this bit here. Sit back. I'm going to start introducing a bit of red into my colour. Only a little bit, because I need, to, I need to get the lips in there now. I need to get the lips. <laughs> I've set my cameras up a little bit different, because I'm uh, working on the uh, master painting, and uh, I've just sort of moved it while doing this one. Because I've been focusing on that one recently. So let's get a bit of this red, a little bit of red in my uh, skin tone, and let's 
start looking at then this lip. So we'll have a lip starting sort of there. Now we don't want it too red because <laughs> we don't want this guy to look like he's got lipstick on. But we want to give it a little bit of colour. Okay. <laughs> oh dear. So you find the uh, the top lip is darker than the bottom lip a lot of the time because it's not getting as much light. I think we'll have a lip finish in there. Something like that anyway. Because it's still all still wet I can move things with my finger right now <coughs> just dry the brush on the paper towel now I'm gonna uh, put a little bit of a dark line uh, maybe I'll use a bit of black I don't know what this is going to look like when I take that top bit off. I hope it's going to be funny. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. So I'm going to uh, put in a dark right there. I think this moustache, while well, we've got this brush, I'm going to get some of this black, black and brown now. And I'm going to start giving this a little bit more colour, uh, with a bit more of the black, just to uh, thicken it a little bit, give it a bit more of the body to it. Maybe, maybe it's a little less kept. It's a bit rough. <laughs> yeah, that's better. All right, I'm not really happy with the way those lips look yet. What needs happening is it needs. Closing in a bit. That's a bit better. Let's go a bit of white. No, the light would hit that lip there. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Yeah, we'll leave it at that. Now, I want to... Uh, want to have a darkened bit there. And the moustache to come down a bit as well. Over the... Over the lip of it. Okay. Yeah, that's better. <laughs> Now I'll get some of this Naples yellow in some of the white and create a, uh, a bit of a highlight for some of these hairs. Same in there. Okay. <laughs> now then. Use this brush, and some of this white, and I'll lighten some of these areas. Say, area here. Oh, there's not enough white on there. Not light enough. Let's go a bit more. So I want to lighten few areas like a bit on here Naples yellow and white and there. Okay, now I'm having too much fun. <laughs> oh, I'm uh, spending probably too long on this, but yeah, it doesn't matter, does it? So I'm going to give him some clothing and some ends on his black. Just fill that in there. Filling it in, filling it in. <laughs> it's funny doing this because you don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> I think that's why that vibe was a funny challenge. It, it, these challenges, it's just to get you thinking. quite broad, like a bouncer. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> now then. I need 
to uh, background there. It's a lot lighter than that, isn't it? white I can highlight my jacket I won't put too much detail on it probably do actually now I'll grab some of this white in <laughs> hope you're enjoying this <sighs> I'm sure Clive's watching laughing his head off at me <laughs> trying to use acrylics So when you're painting things, use the paint to uh, create impressions. Like me pulling that paint down there, you can see sort of the line. Uh, not neck. <laughs> Some of that skin colour on there. Imagine there's some light hitting that part of the neck. side is darker so more I always want to do more I think that's the problem with me <laughs> I 
I just want to paint and paint and paint and I could keep painting so I need a uh, a bow tie now because this uh, white is drying bow tie in. Just grab some more black. I've got paint all over me. <laughs> paint everywhere. Blip, 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 blip. Lots of black, lots of black. And uh, Okay, that'll do. And then uh, just gonna because I can't really see the way this collar is I'm just gonna put a little bit of a shadow there bit of a shadow under there as well but yeah <laughs> I mean, you could keep going with this, and going and going and going. But I think I'm gonna have to call this one done. I'm just gonna put a little bit of light there. On the lip, it's catching a bit of light. And well, uh, Let's have a look and see what we've got underneath. So I'll uh, zoom out. Okay, let's have a look at this chap. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not expecting that at all. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Have a look. Just blend this bit there. <laughs> oh 
my goodness me. That looks crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brilliant. That was really good. Uh, a bit of a... <laughs> uh, Johnny English. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Very good. Um, uh, so, that's this episode done. Thanks very much for watching this one. Uh, if you enjoyed it, and uh, see you another episode and if you want to see our other one then uh, check it out in the iCards and uh, if you've not um <laughs> i don't really know what to say anymore this is ridiculous i can't believe how good this looks um <laughs> anyway thanks very much for watching and if you'd like to um support this channel and check out patreon if you uh want to ask me a question go on facebook thanks very much for watching these episodes and subscribing it means a lot to uh to me and it does climb as well i know it does and uh yeah thanks very much for watching <laughs> see you soon cheers bye